just a little bit on here. Try to get as equal amounts as possible. Take, take some super glow white protex powder and I put uh, a hefty amount usually and I loosen it up a little bit so I put, put a hefty amount of super glow white and then what I've been doing is just using this darker yellow. Just just a pinch of that. And I wait to mix all of or the two parts of epoxy together. Um, after I get all this stuff. It gives you a little bit more working time if you mix it all right away. Um, I just wipe this on my pants or on a towel and a little bit of cheap glitter from Walmart extra fine and this one I'm using the gold gold glitter so gold glitter protec super glow white and protec yellow um, you can play with different colors if you'd like I also use a small uh, Phillips screwdriver to mix and spread this stuff on the hooks and then um, the black I use uh, like in my other video where I'm making the eyes the 3d eyes right on the jig with the uh, epoxy using the same one millimeter glass beads so then I'm mixing this all together you don't want it kind of kind of thick I'm going to pick this up and just kind of work it in, mix it in real good. So this uh, super glow white glows green. So I'll leave a link in the description for all of the stuff and where I've been getting them and stuff. The hook size is kind of whatever hook you prefer. Let's see this is the color I got right now and then this was this is the color I mixed up before so that's this one after it dries or sets up. You see the gold in it a little bit so mix it up real good and then just scoop up a little bit there is quite a bit of waste um, can't really get away from that too much so and I'm using five minute epoxy on this not 20 minute not 30 minute I want five minute I want it to set up fairly quick because it is a hassle to uh, rotate a hook for a half an hour while you're trying to get that drip just how you want it so you kind of have to play with different amounts of epoxy to get the size of the drip you want and you can put gems, eyes, whatever you'd like on them. I think I'm about done adding epoxy to this one. I'm just going to have to kind of roll it around. You let this, you can let that dry on the screwdriver or if you want to use a toothpick that works too. And then you just keep, you know, rolling it around. So you get the drip right where you want it. So I'll let it sag out a little bit between the treble hook. Kind of droop down. And then 
pay attention so that you get as close to equal amounts as possible on all your sides and then um, once it starts to set up a little bit then I can start dropping those beads into place all right that's where I put that I was thinking I'm gonna need my pliers and I don't know where I set them got such a mess going on down here I'm trying to get this room done and haven't been posting many videos just been trying to get a bunch of projects done and so let me just check this it's getting a little bit stiffer Put these glass beads. I just drop them in a in a coffee filter. That seems to work pretty good. Keeps them keeps them uh, kind of handy. And then I just carefully set and press the glass beads in. And just keep rotating that hook though. And pay attention. Pay attention, so this is a this side sticking up a little bit more than the rest, or sticking out a little bit further. So I'm just gonna let that sag to the other side a little bit. And if you touch the epoxy, it's all right, because it'll usually level back out just a little bit. Let's see. I apologize if I'm not getting much in the camera. I'm trying. It's hard to keep rotating stuff around. Oops. That one I kind of... S I'm going to have to use this to push it off to the side a little bit. And that's a good thing waxies. They're not perfectly smooth either, so... If it does get a little imperfection, well, it might make it look even more realistic. So these one millimeter glass beads, I did get a couple of them that were a lot bigger than one millimeter, but and occasionally you get one that falls on the floor like just now. this one down a little bit further if I can usually use my fingers to pick these little glass beads up just by pushing down really hard getting them to stick to your finger but it's hard to place them on a treble hook without poking yourself in the finger so and I've used these smooth the 
these pliers are smooth they don't have a real deep um, teeth in them so I use these to clean off my screwdriver quite a bit so they're kind of a little gummy so that works well because the glass beads just stick to them all right so I'll let that set set up just a little bit more and then I'm gonna mix up a little bit more five minute epoxy and I need to find the black here it is. So I got old school Cortex the shark on it. A friend of mine um, gave me uh, quite a bit of stuff and there's quite a bit of old old stuff in there and that stuff works pretty good that's the same black right there on this so let me just check this, this is how I check to see how my hook is doing see that's not gonna not gonna slide in the hook now that's pretty that's getting pretty stiff so it's not gonna it's not gonna matter what I do with it now. I mean, if I set it down, it'll get stuck to things. So um, unless you set it up like this, but um, if you stand it up right, that will stick. So I'm gonna take a little bit more um, five minute, just a tiny bit, because I'm just gonna make enough. For the little bit of black around the top, I like putting black around there. The waxies they tend to have a little dark patch on their face. Um, it's not always black; it's more brown, and then a small, small little part where their little pincers are is black. So um, I just do it black. I don't think the fish are gonna know any better. I've actually caught quite a few on some just like this. I haven't tried this identical color, but it's actually a lot closer to uh, a true waxy color than the one that I was using. It's just a white with the black specks in it. Mix it in good. So, like I said, there is quite a bit of waste. So, if you can, you know, dial that in so you're not wasting so much stuff, I mean, more power to you. I just I'd rather just try to get it on the cardboard and whip it up and lay it on there. And, be happy with it so here I go I'm gonna just take this carefully through here and just put however much you want on there let it drip down like that it'll pull itself back into it kinda it'll you can make it walk up and down a little bit smooth out um, if you want it more of like a bead let this set up a little bit before you put it on there or only roll it don't let it don't stand it up on end just kind of roll it like this so it doesn't level out um, that's actually pretty good there I was gonna put a little bit more on there but it's not not too shabby. Uh, maybe I'll put just a just a little bit right there. So there you have it. And then um, I'm gonna put uh, UV a UV coating on the other ones that I have made up. I just need to let this one set up a little bit before I do that.
pretty good. I like it. There's the one. There's the one from what three days ago, I believe it's been now three days. So the color color's pretty darn close. So. You don't have to use three on each side. You can. You don't even have to put them on there. And you can also, if you don't have the glass beads, you can honestly just take this black and very carefully just dab it in. I'll just do one right on the very bottom so you can see what you can do um, if you don't if you don't have the uh, so just dig it, dab it. and let it come back so it's not going to be perfectly round but in a pinch you know, it'll get your results alright so I'm going to use this seal coat UV finish Camera's gonna see it well enough or not. Seal coat. Um, that's water cleanup, so you can use a brush and brush it on. Or if it's just a jig, you can just you can uh, dip it in there. That's what I usually do. But it means that this is treble hook, can't really dip it in there too well. So, I'm just going to try to put a little seal coat on this. This is not the one that I just painted, this is the one that I did uh, three days ago. I would not recommend coating a brand new epoxy that hasn't fully cured. that. I'm going to push. I don't know if you can actually see that in there or not. Well, I guess you can kind of see it in the other see it in the other video. So that's turning. I'm going to just push that button there. Give it a couple seconds. And I hope that holds because it's in there very tight. Let those cure. I'm gonna do this other one real quick that I did the same day as I just did the just coated. UV, believe it or not, um, this UV coating kind of makes a little bit of a flash underwater. If there's any UV light that's penetrating the water, um, this will help reflect that UV light, um, making it more visible for the fish, and most likely catching you more fish. So, we're just going to let them turn until they set up. I'm going to go wash this brush off. Um, Grab the black light so you can make sure how well the camera will pick up on the from across there, but so it's got the UV coating on it. And these take a little bit longer than just straight super glow to charge up, but you hit them with a real bright light. glow green. The uh, camera flash works the best. Um, yeah. So I'm going to turn the light back on. Turn this back on because that's still 
curing. So thanks again for watching. Thanks again for watching. Um, like I said, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. A lot of people, believe it or not, think that it costs money to subscribe to people's channels. Um, so if you like what somebody's doing, not only my channel, somebody else's, um, hit the subscribe button. It helps them all quite a bit. It comes up or helps them come up with new content and um, you don't get paid until you get like um, what is it a thousand sub thousand subscribers so um, I'm not looking to get any money out of this if it does take off it's gonna still take forever so um, thanks for watching um, show your friends the video um, and put the thumbs up Thank you.